Just a minute, buddy. Hey, everybody. So it is Sunday evening. Um, we've had a very long and eventful weekend. Um, let's quickly recap for just a couple of minutes of what all our weekend has entailed. You're asking me to recap, and I'm on like four and a half hours sleep. <laughs> and yeah. had two glasses of wine. <laughs> well, that was a long time ready ago. ready for a nap. Like, that was like three hours ago. We spent the afternoon on our boat, which was amazing today because it's finally in the water. Um, hey, can funny we, story. Can we, can we go, can we not go backwards? Can we go forwards from like Saturday morning to... As you wish. We should probably start at Friday afternoon when you acquired the second boat. Oh yeah, Saturday afternoon. Seems like we'll have another snippet of video while I'm standing on said second boat. So, we bought a second boat. Well, I should say my Can wife just... bought. Oh yeah. Yeah, here here we have here we have children and we've banished them. <laughs> oh, we've banished you. them inside. Okay. So, anyway. So, um my wife Mindy, the love of my life, she thought that one boat with all the headaches <laughs> and drama and maintenance and fees and boat Why, slips. Why don't you tell the real story? <laughs> she thought that one boat wasn't enough, so Mindy bought us another boat. Okay, so the very long and short of it is that we found a boat in our local marina here in um, in Jefferson City in East Tennessee and we were really interested in it. The gentleman who owned it had passed away and um, we pursued the boat we heavily. We tried <laughs> to make contact with heirs and we tried to make contact with um, to attorneys. No we right. couldn't get a hold of anybody. Everybody that we messaged was kind of a dead end. Uh, kind of a dead end, mm -hmm. no pun intended. Um, that was horrible. <laughs> But anyway, we couldn't get a hold of anybody, so we started searching for other boats. And we ended up buying a 26-foot seafarer in Indiana, which we've already posted a video about uh, as we were making the road trip up. And she's beautiful, um, and, and she's she, perfect, and she's... Um, absolutely lovely. Was ready to go. Yeah, and um, so anyway, we purchased it, and then on Tuesday of this past week... Yes. Um... Mindy was contacted by um, by someone who could give us some information, on the and other uh, on the on the other boat, and it's 125, and um, and so we were contacted by the and we made we made a kind of a low ball offer because it needs a lot of cleanup, and um, but anyway, we think that's so really all is a lot of cleanup. We're Soon. we're not eating at all. We're, we're eating soon. Yeah. See you in a minute. Okay. We're filming. Well, I'm trying to get a shower. Okay. So we're not, uh, so, um, we, uh, Maybe. we put in a very low offer Maybe. for this, uh, second boat and they accepted the offer. And, um, so we've bought another boat. We have two. Right. And, and this is the boat, this is a boat that we really like. The layout is great. It's get it, it sleeps. Um, you know, it has more bed space. More births, it sleeps. Right. Yeah, it, um, it sleeps. Which, as far as as far as the layout goes, it's it's really pretty perfect for our family. Right, um, and that even was one being, of the even reasons. Even being, yeah, a of, small boat of having the second boat is because if we go and we even just camp in the marina, not everybody can fit on the seafarer. Um, right. So we we know that this boat, at least for right now, um, maybe nothing more than a floating tent, but that's okay. Uh, it also gives us the opportunity to continue to hmm, work a little bit because I I enjoyed what we did with the Bristol, and um, it had a a special spot in my heart. Even though by the end uh, it, it was filled more with resent maybe than love, um, I but it was breaking my heart watching this little boat rot away. Yeah, so in the slip. I think in the very worst case scenario, we can resell the boat. And, uh, you know, put it in the hands of someone who will use it. Right. Um, in the very best case scenario, we'll have two boats. And, uh, you know, possibly we could Airbnb or something or another. We're, uh, maybe even uh, do some charters with it. I, we'll just have to kind of explore that a little bit. 
we're definitely looking for some uh, ways to have alternative streams of income for when we do get to leave and uh, do some cruising. That said, getting our new little Marguerite into the boat slip, we have a long ways to go <laughs> yeah. before we're doing it, any kind of long-term It was, it was painfully obvious that we are novice. just very novice. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. I mean, nobody is... And when he says painfully, I have the bruises <laughs> to prove it. it was... uh, nobody comes out of the womb a sailor, so everybody has to learn. Some learn much earlier in life, in life than we have. Um, but anyway, um, so that was Friday. Friday. Friday we got the Friday call. Friday evening, yeah, and then we... Saturday morning we hauled yeah. our seafarer over. Uh, we got a flat tire on the way. That was super fun. Oh, no, Saturday morning we went early and cleaned up the hunter. We did, we cleaned up the hunter. Um, and uh, the boat, the hunter is named Honey Bear, so if we refer to Honey Bear, that's, uh, uh, that's the boat we're talking about. Or who's the loser now, Dad, <laughs> that <laughs> Connor wants to name it. Yeah, Connor uh, kind of has, has the idea that we'll name it that, but we'll, we'll see about all that. <laughs> I like it. But anyway... So Saturday we went and spent, I don't know, a couple, three hours um, just cleaning up. And, um, well, not killing, even cleaning up. Killing wasps. And emptying. Um, yeah, the emptying, boat. just taking all the, because there was just a lot of junk in the boat, trash. The boat apparently and, has sat for about five years. Yeah, at the very minimum, five years with, with not even being moved. Right. So, um, and it looked like someone had just kind of finished up a weekend and yeah. never touched it again. So, that was our Saturday morning, which began not like at the crack of dawn, but pretty early. Right. And then um, we went, we came back home. Um, had lunch. We had lunch. Kind of a quick lunch here at the house. Planned to step the mast around three, so we left. Yep. Um, that, was the, that was the game plan, is to trailer the boat. Um, we ended up getting on the road a little after two, which, which was feasible for us to get over there. And as we're driving down the interstate, we... The wind vane blew off first. Oh, yeah, the wind the wind vane blew <laughs> off. Um, the brand spanking that. new wind vane. Um, I was driving the vehicle, towing the boat, and Mindy was following behind. And, and why um, was I following behind? Because she can't stand to ride in the car with me towing yeah. the boat. Because the tires were not in great <laughs> no, condition. And I had a little bit of forethought. <laughs> And then my husband told we, we, me we needed we needed my car full of tools. My husband had a great told me deal that to I was being it. too nervous. Yeah, she she's a little bit of a nervous Nelly. As the tire was separating. <laughs> so anyway, the, all the tires on the trailer are dry rotted, but we drove all the way from Indiana home. So I thought surely we could drive, you know, twenty oh, minutes. Okay. Um, Don't touch I anything. thought that we could well, drive twenty minutes handle. and uh, and make it to the lake, and uh, we weren't able to do that. Okay, <laughs> thanks for that interruption. Um, so anyway, we... With all the, due respect, you're trying to do this at supper time. The food's not ready yet. We're grilling brats and hamburger and, and hot dogs. we've been out all day long. Yeah, I know. And but, we have kids to feed. Yeah. I, I, and I'm running on four and a half hours sleep. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> so anyway, we're and on the way to the marina. And uh, trying to take the boat to the marina so we can meet my friend there who has a bucket truck, uh, who's an electrician. And because we go to step the mast and then, uh, you know, try to splash the boat. And um, uh, we had to pull over and... Make a three-hour detour. Yeah, we, yeah, because... Uh, Run and get the jack. Had to get, a, had to get a bottle jack because it's several thousand pounds. Come back and take the tire off. Yeah, take, take the, tire the tire off. Take the tire to be repaired. Take the tire Bring and the get tire a new back. tire back. Yep. Yeah. Uh, put it back on, and then we went on to the marina, and we were there for a little while, and my friend showed up with his bucket truck. Now, to be fair, we stepped the mast. It was super easy. Um, yeah. Not like the experience of taking it off. Yeah. Because that guy was not quite as sharp as sure, he I'm would tired. like I'm for like everyone to. <laughs> thank you. Not quite as sharp as he would like for everyone to think that he is. I think he knows a little less than he puts on. Fair but enough. anyway, uh, not trying to badmouth the guy, but he dropped my mast. So I don't know how else nicely to say that. Victor. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, yeah, you're going to make me mad all over again. Sorry. Anyway, the mast went up really easily. But yeah, because Mark, the guy who Mr. Goodwrench here had to buy a really fancy schmancy light to put on. Yeah. So then there was an additional hour's worth of... So we, we, <laughs> we got our, we got our, uh, our new um, light up. We got the wind vane hard. back on. Um, I didn't mention that part. Part of it works, thank you. The most important part at this moment works. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is what wow. we have to deal with. <laughs> this is only one of six. This is only one of six. So anyway, we... Um, the rest are halfway normal, though. Eh-ish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we have such a great life. We do. Um, so, we got the mast stepped. And then about, you know, quarter till 11, we started trying to get the boat in the water. Which was awesome. And, it, and then it started raining. <laughs> Pouring, yeah. Um, and we got the trailer extension on the trailer and hooked up to the car and all that. And we got the boat in the water. Eventually. Finally got the boat because the, the dang because bow. Because it's a fake lake. The bow um, <laughs> strap uh, it was, mechanism. It was rough. We got home last night around midnight, got to bed at 1230, had to wake up again at 5 this morning. Yeah. We couldn't get, Mindy couldn't get the, the motor started. No, no well, fault I, of hers. I couldn't, I couldn't keep it running. Right. I kept flooding it. Yeah, no fault of hers. But anyway. Um, probably. So we just had, to, we just had to like lash it to a, we had to tie off to a, to a dock. Um, just meatheads, every single one of them. Yeah, we had to tie off the boat to a dock for a little while and then for we. For four and a half hours while we slept. Yeah, we, we Gosh. raced home, slept for about four hours or something, four and a half hours. Right. And then we came back. And, um... My dad met us there. Yeah. Cranked the motor up, made it look like... Yeah. Well, <laughs> he did a really good job and made us And look we, silly. we eased it around to the... Slip. We eased it around to the slip and, um, tied off and then came back home and rested for a little while and um, we got... Try again. Mindy let me rest for a little while. Right. It's not my fault you didn't come lay down. I... The kids were up. You should have been quieter on the phone. You woke them up. Right. <laughs> and nothing to do that it was 7.30 in the morning. Uh, He'd slept an hour later than usual. So, we got all the kids together and we went to the marina and spent the... Uh, <laughs> uh, what were you thinking if, trying to film right if now? If anybody out there does not have kids, don't. Right. Go visit Chuck E. Cheese if you want to see what it's like to have <laughs> right, a family. yeah. And when your um, ovaries tie themselves in knots, go home. Right. So, anyway, we spent a lovely day on it, the it boat. It was. It was um, cleaning and kind of inventorying everything that's on Marguerite. And, made uh, guac. We made, yeah, we made guac in the cockpit and, um, you know, had some chips and... Wine. Yeah, a glass of wine and uh, a couple of rum and Cokes. Yeah, it was great. It was. Great it day. was good. Yeah. So we had a we had a great day, and um, so the the uh, the adventure of getting the boat in the water was was just that it was an adventure. But she's in the water, and now we're uh, you know we're making plans to move forward and uh, learn to sail. We have a lot to learn. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but yes. it's fun. It's a good adventure. Mindy didn't think it was a good adventure about <laughs> eleven thirty last night. Uh, no, I did not. Uh, she was she was she was kind of hating life a little bit actually. These All kids, right, I can't so even I'm focus gonna go, right now. With I'm gonna what's go going check, on over here. I'm gonna go check on the brats and the hot dogs, and um, we will see you later. Mm -hmm.